between the barn and the house this is becoming one of my favorite tanks this is in wesley's room it's a no tech tank for those who have been following me have seen the build videos on some of my older videos if you want to check those out you can check those out later hope you're doing well and if not i hope it gets better for you and in this video we're going to go through the evolution of this aquarium and where it's at now started this aquarium in october and like most non-filters they do go through a month of balancing and these fish are actually going into the barn now i want to share with you for instance you see that purple in there that's either from dying algae and or sulfur or a combination of both will cause that coloration all right first one in so awesome these will really brighten up in this no light no tech tank what it looks like with these goldfish this is when i first added them this one fish was being a bit goofy so i did lose a few to uh internal parasites but i'll be talking about that more in this video let's check it out and see what it looks like now all right well here it is quick update come on focus camera we've got the goldfish gold laser tank looks like there's a goldfish battle over some food Gold lasers all down there getting a chew off of some food. Only scraped the algae on this twice. It's never had a water change. Old school then. I have pulled a lot of guppy grass out though. It's actually a QT tank for quite some time. It's a 55 gallon. Absolutely beautiful, simple, simple tank. I didn't have anything on it, no lights, no filter, nothing. It was just completely ambient light from the sun, and it did great. It was growing. Uh, I could still have it that way, but I did end up putting a light on it here because when you get light on goldfish and you see where it's moved up front, so when they come up to the front, goldfish are really apt to coming up to meet and greet you. So with this up here, it just makes them goldfish pop like crazy. But you can see I've got a little algae on the back, a little on the front, not much. It has stayed pretty clear for the most part with these guys. I can get this scraped off. We'll look at it. When it gets dark, it looks cool too. So it kind of has its different phases as the time and light shifts and shades. It's really neat. But let me clean the front of it and we'll wait till the sun goes down. I do have this side of the tank painted here. Just kind of give it that extra little look. Also so the closet light doesn't shine directly onto it at night. You see no filters, no lines. It's just now this light. Absolutely loving these goldfish. Wesley is too. We had more of them, but unfortunately we were dealing with some internal parasites and hit them with some levomasol and took out the ones that were showing issues. So hopefully that has taken care of it and we won't have to worry about losing any more of these guys. They're so fun to watch. As you can see by my setup, goldfish aren't that hard to keep. Especially with a proper natural environment. Early morning goldfish before the light even comes on. That's what I like about goldfish is you don't really need a light on them for them to pop. Thought I'd turn the light on and get a video of these guys, but look at this goldfish. He is totally hiding. He's like, I am not here. You can't see me. You can't see me. I wonder if I'll feed him. It'll come out. There you can see at night what it looks like. I was trying to catch it at the right time, but I didn't get a chance to. I wanted to get this video edited for you. But man, at night, the gold lasers, this is the difference. Look how gold they are. You saw in the day they were more brownish. The gold is definitely on. How beautiful. My favorite thing about this tank is feeding it. But I don't know if those goldfish will wake up for food. Let's find out. Got old trusty Tetra Color Tropical Granules. Well, at least maybe the gold lasers will get fattened up from these midnight snacks. Goldfish don't figure them out. But boy, they do not like to be woken up. Oh, I think he figured it out. You can see here on the guppy grass where bits of it would have been nibbled off. A lot of it had been bitten back. The biomass was big enough that it bounced back and you can see a lot of new growth on it as well. So the goldfish aren't able to keep up with it. Yeah, they're finding the food. They'll wake up for that. And while there was hiding in the plant, see he's gone. He's down there munching. He's like, oh, food. He's about it.
This one is straight sleeping. You don't want to be bothered. But I'll let these guys go back to bed. I wanted to show you how clean and clear it can be for a goldfish tank being no filter and planted. Really cool tank, absolutely love this. These fish are so active, so personal. I would highly recommend a goldfish tank. And this is a 55 gallon too, if you're wondering. Temperature stays around the mid 70s, fluctuates a little bit. The TDS, which hardness, is around 170, 180. It's a little soft, but there's a lot of mineralization and lime and calcium in the water. And the light I got from eBay, it's a Aqua Neat. It's a blue and white Fowler. 48 incher and if you want to know more about these goldfish these setups these systems how i do these aquariums and just how mother nature does them really check out the channel leave a comment or a question down below i'll answer your questions and i appreciate you guys all for watching all you guys for the support thank you for making this all possible hope you all liked the video until next time everybody peace have a great one